Belmont stays. The third leg of the Visa Triple Crown Challenge continues on ABC's Wide World of Sports. The Bud One Airship providing the scenics today at Belmont Park on a Saturday afternoon. Here's the sight from above, and we can tell you tonight on ABC. New episodes of Lois and Clark and Leaving L.A. Spy Games and Gun all coming your way. And tomorrow night, a brand new episode of Second Noah and America's Funniest Home Videos. And then the Sunday night movie, Without Consent. We mentioned Touch Gold, a very late fall. All horses born in 1994 celebrated their birthday on January 1st. This horse was actually born, though, on May 26, 1994. Youngest horse in the field. He'll get the trophy. Let's go to Jim McKay. All right, thanks a lot, Al. Right here is Kenny No, the chairman of the New York Racing Association, a great Belmont, better than 60,000 people, and the sun even came out at the end. Jim, it's, uh, it was a great day, and my congratulations to the winners. It's just been a great day for the Belmont New York Racing Association and for New York Racing. Couldn't agree more. Just behind me is Carl Pascarella, the chairman of Visa, who came here with $5 million in his pocket today. <laughs> Uh, thinking he might be giving it away, of course, to the owners of Silver Charm. Maybe next year, when it's 20 years since we've had a Triple Crown winner. Jim, it's been a great series. I want to congratulate the owners and, of course, uh, the great job David Hoffman's done and the great uh, ride that Chris McCarron gave it. It was a great series, and we're proud to be a part of it. Don't spend the five million. Bring it back. We'll have it okay. next year. Here is his honor, the mayor of New York City, Rudolph Giuliani, to present the trophy. Well, it's my honor to present you with the trophy. This was a great athletic event. It was a great race. You can be very proud of it. Your horse is a champion. Your jockey ran a terrific race. The trainers, the owners, a great day winning in the capital of the world, New York City. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, that's Frank Stronach, the winner. Congratulations to you, Frank. A lot of good things have happened to you since you came to North America from Austria a long time ago as a young man. Where does this rank? Well, this is nice. It's kind of sad to not have a triple crown when I and the Louisas are such great sports people, but Nevertheless, horse racing is all about competition, and it's nice to win a race, so congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Robert and Janice McNair, the other owners here. Bob, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, it couldn't have happened in better, a better place. If you can do it in New York, you can do it anywhere. So, <laughs> so we're delighted. Thank you very much. Pretty good line. Okay, the jockey, Chris McCarron, is over there. We, he's going to have his own special moment here when we come back. So stand by, Chris. We'll be back to Belmont. The Belmont Stakes. The third leg of the Visa Triple Crown Challenge. Brought to you by Visa, the preferred card of the Triple Crown Challenge. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Johnson & Johnson, your touch and Johnson & Johnson. All the caring in the world. Toyota and their full line of quality cars and trucks. And priority mail from the U.S. Postal Service. Well, we're here with uh, the trainer, David Hoffman, and congratulations to you and the rider, uh, Chris McCarron. Chris, we're going to take a look at the replay here. It was uh, kind of a strange race in that you took the lead, lost it, and then, and then made another run at the end. First of all, here you are, taking the lead. Yes, touch goal broke just a little tardily today. I think he was real careful after what happened last time. But then he, all of a sudden he just got in gear and he wanted to go to the lead, so I allowed him to do that. And I was staying out off the rail because the rail was a little bit slower, the slowest part of the track today. All the winners were coming down the middle of the track. Back straight. Down the backside, I was in front comfortably, and then Gary Stevens on Silver Charm decided he doesn't want us to let he didn't want to let us go that slowly. So he asked his horse to kick on a little bit, which pushed Wild Rush. When they went on by me, touch goal didn't go quick enough, so I just let him stay where he was. So you were still pretty confident at this point? I was confident because I always had a lot of horse. I never felt like I was out of gas yet. And I turned for home. I could have gone inside again, but that was not the place to be, so I swung him out. And I had it in my mind that if I was if I was going to be in a position to run by Silver Charm, I wanted to do it in a wide fashion. I wanted to get out away from him. I didn't want him his horse's eye to be able to look my horse in the eye because Silver Charm is dead game to get by, and I wanted to take that opportunity away from him. And here it came, the finish of the Belmont Stakes. What a series of races this has been this spring. Congratulations to you, Chris, on your second Belmont Stakes. Thanks very much. We remember Dancing Connection very well. Thank you. Congratulations to you, David. Thank you very much. Chris did a great job riding this horse. The, the fact that he swung wide away from Silver Charm, I think, was the key. Okay, well, that's the story. A marvelous, as I said, Triple Crown series. There will be no Triple Crown winner this year, but 
wait till next year. It'll be 20 years. Maybe that would be an appropriate time. Thank you so much for being with us as we rode the road from the Derby to the Belmont.